welcome to Freelancers Coffee Break Podcast. I'm your host, Ali, and with my co-host, Mehmet Turan, we talk about freelancing, and today we're going to talk about... Mehmet, before we say that, how yeah. are you? Very well. And you? I'm fine. Our meeting at the Irish pub was great. People missed a lot when they didn't come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope next time more people will be attending. At least this time it was only two of us, but it's good. Um, I think the life for freelancers, the one of the biggest hurdle is being alone, you know, staying, being in one room, you know, working all day along, you know, working there and not socializing. I don't miss much from corporate world the office space we had i had many open spaces but the socializing part i'm missing out because you know when it's about to become turn out to be 12 30 people start talking about what are we eating today you know what where are we going for lunch you know they start inviting would you like to we are going this place would you like to come with us etc you know you go you chit chat and you come back it's kind of a refreshing when you're alone at home you go to the kitchen make a sandwich and come back and there's no one yet you know maybe yeah. you open a youtube video watch it while you are eating your sandwich and that's it yeah that's on the socials yeah that's when i was you know i was in seclusion for seven years in cyprus yeah. uh, and yeah. so to like give you an overview uh, the house was in the middle of nowhere and like the closest shop was like seven kilometers away and I had like no neighbors whatsoever, M me and my cats. So, uh, yeah, when that happens, like when you're that secluded and you're a freelancer, I guess podcasts are like what saves you, you know, and your clients also. I was using my clients as a social platform <laughs> where I, you know, fulfill my socializing needs. Uh, yeah. And they don't want to have any more Zoom meeting with you because you keep them talking. No, 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 not mm -hmm. even Zoom meetings. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, texting. But yeah, still you're like, you know, communicating with someone. There's like a back and forth. So that's also, I think, socializing in a way. I heard that the internet ex the internet connectivity in uh, Cyprus is very poor. Was it like that? Well, it's not great. So, what are we talking about today? Past oh. episode, we talked about how we choose clients who will who will propose, who will send proposal to, and this week, you and I will tell how we answer proposals, how we send our proposals, fast but customized way. Yeah, and like I, I would like to point out that I know for a fact that Mehmet has a very elaborate system. So uh, let me share my screen and hear it. So here is my Upwork screen and here are the proposals I store. I keep all my work to do with Upwork or freelancer works on through the Notion system. Maybe we'll talk about it in a future episode, but here are my kind of a wiki page for all my work on different categories, image post-production, retouching work, 3D work, graphic design, video editing. I don't do it, but I sometimes recommend people, industrial design, photography work. I also did some Notion work, but I don't submit to Notion works anymore requires too much dedication and I don't have the time for that. So let's say we'll do a standard uh, case and someone comes, I saw a pro, um, job post on Upwork or someone sends me an invite. Okay, let me, let's do this. Yeah. Let me, so this has to be, let's make it random. So let me yeah. choose the image type and hmm. or the industry in image post-production and then you show me your submission. Okay. 
So here are the categories. It's like the Oscar. Now here are the categories. Yeah. So I would like a beverage. Beverage. Okay. If beverage. If the client's art. looking Whatever. for a beverage, then I click on this. Here is my standard beverage proposal. So it starts high. And of course, I'll check the name if possible. I'll find the you know, name. And okay. then I talk about what kind of beverage work I do. Since this is a beverage thing, you see everything is customized for beverage. And I talk about all, I only talk about beverage, what I do about beverage and so on. For you, it can be. For example, podcast is a very I'm general not, subject. I like that, by the way. I'm not your average image editor. I love that. That's great. Yeah. I'm going to add that. Absolutely. Like, this is Mehmet. Are you sure you want to, like, put all this here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. because, like, the, this is, uh, you know, this will bring you, this could bring you competition, too. You yeah. Know? Then it will, uh, I'll have to find new things against the competition yeah it's a great great template yeah so Go ahead. i only talk about as you see alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverage thing my experience with beverage retouching then i provide different links on my beverage portfolio what i did and so on and of so, course at the end i ask let's have a video call because i know that if i can have a video call my closing rate will jump to 80%. If someone does a video call with me, you know. I still don't agree with you on that. But why? listen, but listen, yeah. let's do this. So I'll, my template is really close to this. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that you're doing that I'm not. For example, this is a good opener, right? And then mm -hmm. the follow up is really good the second paragraph and then of mm -hmm. course the links mm -hmm. and then you have uh, this explanation where you're talking about how you prefer fixed fees mm -hmm. uh, and buy so this mm -hmm. is really important i think because like in my template i have all of these except for that so after mm -hmm. the links it just goes looking forward to he hearing from you and boom that's it uh, ah, but I this say, is can we have a short video call and discuss yeah. the project face to face you had that we will discuss that by the way mm. yeah i'll tell you why it works for you and why it wouldn't work for somebody else and yeah and i also have a link if they click this link it will connect to my calendar because i put everything even if i go for example when we meet on past wednesday for example evening or thursday i don't recall I put it as a meeting so that that's if your, someone, someone tries to get a booking from me, they see that that time is reserved. That's your generation's thing, you know, being scheduled with everything, like putting everything in there. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so let me show you if they click on this link, which I did it for Upwork only. Then uh, let uh, I'll show it because the screen share won't cover it. Then it's they all there's also a profile description. I'll show these links what they do. Okay, if they click to it, they I'll show you what they look like. Plus at the end, for uh, for some clients, I have also some extra links. If for example, uh, they are budget is not set well and so on, I may share a PDF link with them. It doesn't have any contact information, but it has my standard rates on it. I'll show all these as well. And okay, let's finally... See let's see that. Let's see the yeah. PDF. And finally, I attach two images as well for them to... Because there is an attachment possibility, I'll attach two images. By the way, let me show. That's yeah. that also that's also great. Even though, even when you have like great links, uh, it's good to have like a little sample 
attached. Exactly. Some people yeah. will not want to click links. Uh, some people will, you know, uh, will prefer uh, attachments. Some people don't download attachments and will they will prefer to move to a website. So let's first check my links. So if they say, okay, uh, let's say you said beverage, will it be alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Non because I categorize non-alcoholic. Let's go non-alcoholic, yeah. Non-alcoholic. So I'll go, you see, I'll choose, depending if they are, for example, mineral water, I have mineral water, I have Coca-Cola in my portfolio. So I have all these different oh. non-alcoholic stuff. And I have this PDF that I will provide a link, G Drive link, so they can just open that file and go through my rates. Like, uh, let me zoom out on this one. I love this. Wow. Oh my God, Mehmet, you're revealing all your secrets. Yeah. Expert vetted freelancer. This should be the topic. Expert vetted freelancer revealing all his secrets. Fuck yeah. So, so this <laughs> so. is, for example, basic edit per image. I describe what it covers. Then there is advanced editing per image. And then there is the, for example, compositing cost. Okay. And then if there is 3D design and rendering cost, I tell, okay. Modeling a 3D can, wine bottle, intricate bottle cost, and what they look like, and it goes on. And then there's another sample page to give them a feeling and so on. Wow, I love this. Okay. I'm definitely doing one of these PDFs myself. Yes, baby. Also, what did I... Ah. Web links. Let's show you the links. Very, very, um, what's the right word? It's like a service. It's like a very quality service which you're providing. So if they, this is my link at the bottom when I put Mehmet and at the end, I provide this link and it doesn't, it's not included in my website. So there is nowhere except this link. So I know they are coming directly from Upwork. And here I tell about my story, more detailed, you know, what I have done, what kind of work I do. You, you should know, open I've a been... Wikipedia page, Mehmet. No, you know, not it's the, that much. It's the best, it's the best advertisement that you could ever have because it will be on top of the list. Mm. Uh, when they search so so you see yeah, free the top two. 25 number one on 3d top 25 again number one on retouchers on creative oh so on upwork gives... that's on upwork no this is this is a creative pool it's a, a creative website on uh, uk they make a listing for okay. this freelance artists and it shows my ranking on years for example this is my retouching then from retouching then i changed the um, 3d because you can only be in one category so after i reached number one in 2020 i left jump to 3d and you see i fall i go up and now again in after 2022 again number one on 3d as well Wolf. Oh my and, God, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. And finally, let me show you my reservation system, Zoom call reservation system. If they click that link, then they'll go to this page and they'll be able to select time. To okay, have a this is like Calendly. Calendly, but I don't use uh, Google system so this one is more connected to my everyday my calendar, calendar. Okay. yeah i was looking for something like that actually fantastical that's what it's called yeah and once they select and 
it'll automatically set the zoom link and so on. I think it's very similar to Calendly still. Okay. So this is my system. Looks good. Look, I have nothing to add to that except for the thing I said where, mm. you know, I just don't have that part where I, you know, mention the fixation. I just like, you know, talk about that. I don't even talk about how we want to make mm. it work. Like just before, after we agree, mm -hmm. uh, or if we're going towards there, I say, Hey, like we can do this. Maybe it's because of that, because I trick them in a way, mm. not trick them, but, um, I think I'm so trying to like, because of the ranges, mm -hmm. because it varies the length mm -hmm. of the episodes, uh, it's very hard to give like one fixed price. Uh, mm. So I give them a list, but then after that, I give them a fixed price based on what they imagine their uh, episodes, how long their episodes are going to be. Yeah. Here, uh, I put that fixed cost part only when the budget is, they, you know, they send hourly rate. And I also put an hourly rate, but I want to tell them, okay, you know, um, this might change. This, if let's talk about fixed rate and it might be more interesting for you. So I'm trying to create more reasons for them to reach back to me they, because when they see it, there's a possibility, okay, you know, there are so many um, hourly offers. But this guy talks about fixed rate per episode. For I don't talk about what will be the budget. I say let's talk about it. I, I believe fixed rate is a good, better idea for your case. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You know, make a reservation on my system. And also and... on the video meeting side. Yeah. Look, Mehmet, you know how I am. You know, I'm just overhyped. Sometimes socially awkward, hmm. and not your everyday. Joe type who is not like great at communicating. So, mm. uh, I had this client called Jane and she referred me to some, so she's like a woman entrepreneur in her like fifties. Mm -hmm. Uh, and she's like, she supports women and coaches them. Mm -hmm. And that's what she does. So she referred me <laughs> to somebody and like the woman was okay with everything until she talked to me. She was like, Hey, okay. And, but she just ran uh, after a meeting because I don't know, I guess she just didn't know how to deal with me. So, you know, I prefer text. Mm. Yeah. And I'm quite prominent in, you know, writing. So, uh, yeah, I prefer text. So I you're understand. representable and it's, you know, it's a lot easier for you. Uh, you are, you look like when I look at you, you look trustworthy and confident. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are all important, I think, for a video yeah. meeting. Yeah. You're right. Uh, it, you have to be uh, confident and relaxed about it. If you believe that it won't work for you, of course, you don't have to push for the video call. What I see is that whenever I have a video call, I see that my success rate increases. That's why, you know, I try to push them to video calls because when I have video calls, I am able to show them examples. I screen share, I show my portfolio of previous because then they start talking about what their product is and so on. Then, ah, oh, okay, because in, in usually on Upwork, uh, projects, people don't tell a lot about what the project is about. Then they say, okay, I'm making a new shower head, for example. Then okay. I show my bathroom edits and so on, and they see all those, and then the project goes to another date so that I know what I'm talking about. I am able to show, because I've been doing this for so many years, almost even freelancing is reached a decade for me. And then I show them so many examples and how we can do it. I give them ideas, you know, it's an half an hour meeting maybe, but usually even 30 minutes is not enough for some because they like talking about it and so on. Yeah. It usually ends well. Even yesterday I had 
a meeting with a Chinese guy who didn't speak English. He had an interpreter with him as well. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. But still, he, he enjoyed rich. it very much. Hmm? He must be rich. Yeah, he <laughs> sells stuff on Amazon, as far as, as I yeah, understand. Yeah, that's what we should do, Mehmet. Sell stuff on fucking Amazon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. But he he like manufactures the, and sells. I'm that's the, the thing. Yeah. I'm looking at the last podcast job on Upwork right now. Hmm. And there is like a video job that was posted yesterday. And mm-hmm. the only podcast job that was posted before that was four days ago. Look, this is not normal. Mm-hmm. It's not because the podcast industry is failing. It's because Upwork is failing, getting the jobs on the platform. So what a shame, Yeah, I guess, mm. you know. They got to do something. Upwork, we're telling you. Okay. Nobody's going to listen, but. (laughs) Probably, yeah. Yeah. So how do you do it? Any different? Do you, how do you? Yeah, I'm just looking to open up. So my strategy is going to be. So most of the guests on our podcast, on Mm -hmm. the works we do, uh, or they also have their own podcast. So uh, mm-hmm. we're going to like, you know, tag each person on LinkedIn and their companies and write like an authentic text about the episode and just like, you know, help our clients reach the network of other podcasters, mm-hmm. which is really important in the world of podcasting. Uh, so they can, you know, maybe connect or, you know, get get their name out there. And also, um, yeah, for the guests too, same for the guests too. So, uh, this way we're just like trying to be more known because Mehmet, look, uh, for example, I checked a job, uh, podcast at podcastnews.net uh, the mm-hmm. other day. And basically it was like three podcasts a week and all the things we do for some of our clients, maybe some like extra work, just a little. Mm-hmm. And they, the offer was like six, seven K a month. And oh. so I start checking other jobs and they all are like that. That's like mm-hmm. within the U S. So okay. if they want to like, you know, hire someone like a senior producer, who's going to do all this shit. They're offering to pay 7,000. So that's like the market. That's like Mm. real. And that's like a mediocre, upper mediocre client. You know, I'm not even talking about celebrity podcasts and that kind Mm. of shit. Uh, So, yeah, man. So I'll just see what I can do. You know, we just got to get out there. I can see that now clearly because I do not see any other exit. Because then I'll have to adopt myself on what types of jobs that come on Upwork and that's mostly video. And while we have like all these skill sets that we can use with audio, uh, you know, we mm-hmm. do video too, but it's a different beast, man. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's different. Yeah. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, as you said, you, we shouldn't depend on one company, whatever they do, even if they are very good, Upwork is more like, um, you know, intermediary at best companies, you know, the top end high paying clients are not there. Fortunately yeah. or unfortunately, they yeah. just find it directly. They find the right person, maybe on LinkedIn or from other platforms or through their network. You know, they someone recommends them some person and they work with them and they work directly. It's, in some ways, it's good because once you find some company like that, the advantages you don't have to deal with other competitors because you have one-to-one relationship without a platform. Yeah. But finding is the difficult part. Yeah, it is. It is. But uh, yeah, like you said, references has worked last year for us. Mm-hmm. We, that's like what helped us with like th- 3x growth. But mm-hmm. uh yeah, 
but we can't depend on references only. So yeah, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, perfect. I think this covers on what we do, right? Yeah, let's wrap Run it up. And yeah. yeah. Um, in in future, I'll also show how to make an AI write a proposal for you. I'll give you an example. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I, I don't do it anymore. Then. I tried it, mm -hmm. but I don't do it much anymore. We Unless should do, we should do an AI episode, actually. Yeah, we can do that, and we should also in coming. Uh, episodes talk about the services we pay. By the way, mm. before you go, I just found out that Meet Journey has a new function where you can create a character and then upload that image and use that character in different scenes, which yeah, means yeah, yeah. a lot it's of just shit. Released. Which means yeah. you can make a comic book with just text. That's crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. It's it's not there yet, but it's coming coming along. Oh it's, my that's god! That's a very I'm new so feature. I'm so looking yeah. forward to it. I'm just gonna be a prompt comic book artist. I don't have to learn all <laughs> these drawing skills anymore. I don't have to like no. work my ass off for years. In, 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 yeah. You you think so? But in fact, I am working on a project right now. Who had created a um, hero image for their website, but. There's some mistakes in the image, so I'm cleaning up an AI image right now. And he's paying okay. handsomely for that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. But if you're like a really good prompt engineer, because I use Midjourney, and mm -hmm. Midjourney is getting only better. Yeah, so yeah. it's very soon. Like it's there is like there is tough month. competition. Okay. There is tough competition on AI. Uh, everyone, you know, there is other tools like Leonardo and others. Uh, and as you said, Midjourney is leading the way and they are not dropping the ball. If they drop the ball, someone will take their place. And uh, question about Midjourney, are they still mm. through Discord or? Uh, they are still through Discord. They have an alpha version that people who have created more than 10,000 images I think they opened the alpha version to those uh, users. I haven't done, so I'm still using through Discord. Maybe, Mehmet, we, we should start like a Discord um, channel and, you know... Do... Yeah, even people don't write from LinkedIn. <laughs> what no, will happen? On this no, thing? you're so wrong. People use Discord and, yeah, it's a big, huge platform. You know, LinkedIn is different uh, mm -hmm. because people... Usually freelancers don't use LinkedIn like we do. You know, it's just like something for them, most of them. Uh, but yeah, Discord, people are people have Discord, so. Another uh, reason to make a LinkedIn episode, maybe. How to use LinkedIn. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. So many subjects to talk about. So it's good for this week, I guess. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't forget to join our LinkedIn group and yeah, I guess we'll Keep see. Keep on, on the... asking questions. Yeah. Nobody's asking questions. So yeah, I guess that's okay. You know, so yeah, we're, let's... we are having our session with you one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm benefiting from this. This was like a valuable as episode today. All right, Mehmet, I'll see you on the next one then. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.